Hey folks, this video covers skills and techniques to build visuals for your portfolio. Make sure to go back and watch this video for tips on layout, organization, and portfolio building. But in the meantime, I'm just going to use some student artwork I found in my classroom in order to do this demo. The main tools that I want to use in this video include the Move tool, the Lasso tool, and layer blend modes. Make sure to copy these settings so the tools behave in the same manner when you practice these techniques. All right, so before we start building, I want to point out a couple of really slick pages. Um, this first book that I'm going to look at is Disney's Art of the Tangled. Um, but notice that there's a strong use of graphic design elements to frame some of these pictures. So you can kind of see these storyboards, how there's this rough textured paper appearance and like a nice solid black to go and frame everything. Okay. There are also a handful of patterns that add visual detail to these pages. So it looks really nice. You can see some texturing over here at the top. And in some areas you can kind of see there's like a gradient of color that's transitioning. Let's start with a lasso tool. I'm going to go and sketch out a shape later to be filled with color and pattern. The tool is set up to add to the selection so I can draw the shape with multiple passes. If I miss a section, I can lift the pen and then I can draw again and again it adds and builds my selection. If I make a mistake, I can hold the Alt key on the keyboard and I can slowly start to draw away pieces kind of in a subtractive method. So I'll just go and paint in a little bit of black and I'll lower the opacity because I want to capitalize on that texture. And then on a separate layer, I'll go in and paint some blue on top of it. The blue is going to be the accent color for the page. Now let's focus on the lasso tool in conjunction with the move tool. I'll start lassoing specific pieces of art and then copying and pasting. When I've done that to all of the essential pieces of art, uh, then I'll use the move tool to scale, rotate, and position each piece of art. And finally, I like to stay organized in the layers menu by renaming each piece of art. I've got this background and I've got this drawing right here with the pumpkins, but I need to go and adjust that. This is where the blend modes are going to come in. So whatever you decide to do with the blend modes, you can get lots of different types of effects especially if you isolate your artwork on layers. Generally speaking, when you have a multiply layer, everything that's black shows up, everything that's white disappears into color. So what I like to do with most of my stuff is generally set it up on some kind of a multiply layer and then I work from there. All right, so we are in the home stretch and what I plan to do right now is to work on some of the background behind all of my drawings. So what I'm going to do is I'll go take an original drawing. I'm going to go and lower the opacity, duplicate it a bunch of times and tile it together. So it's behind all of the artwork. I'm also going to go figure out a way to mask the area because as you can see, some of the drawings are overlapped because they're on multiply layers with the blend modes. So you could just lasso the shape of your characters and either fill in and paint or you could delete that area. Either one of those options works. You just choose the one that works best for you. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is bump the contrast and the brightness of the drawing and then pretty much going to call it quits. File menu, export artboards, and then you've got yourself a PDF. Do me a favor, go give this a shot. Thanks for watching. Bye.